everyone's actually talking about this morning were those loud thunderclaps that jolted people around six o'clock this morning. Take a look at what happened to during our morning news. Uh, Rebecca Solomon's live shot. Solomon's Rebecca Solomon has much more in lower Manhattan this morning. Rebecca, good morning. Oh, uh, Yeah, you see it there. <laughs> it, you know, look, it's loud. You're out there. It you're was. hearing it. You know, wow, 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 wow. I know, G, you were talking That's about true. this as well. I mean, it was a lot of folks were like, were, were shaken a bit by that thunder. That's going to go viral. <laughs> that is going viral. You know, this guy, Jim Cantore, he oh, had no. a lightning and thunder during a snowstorm, and that yeah. went viral. Well, look, these things happen. We're going to explain what happened. The time okay. was about 6 o'clock, so let's get at it. And you're going to see a little lesson in meteorology here coming up. Cruz and I looking at the radar, and we're going to show you. It was about 4.15, and uh, you can see 6 o'clock, the bottom tier right between New and York. You can see a little red spot. That was the hefty thunderstorm that went on by. This is an inversion, a temperature inversion. And what happens is a wedge of warm air is above the layer of cold air. That's a big contrast again when that happens in this kind of contrast you get the friction which is the thunder and you get the, the lightning and also that lightning bounce so it's cloud to ground ground to building up and back through the concrete canyon and what you really heard was what was really Rebecca was reflecting a tremendous shot which formed right above the city that's a big deal the formation right above the city means it's instant so you hear the sound the lightning strike and the duration was very short maybe two three minutes but again it served its purpose in terms of making headline news okay 50